Good morning family and well, welcome back to another video on Jazza TV. Today we're going to be talking about weight loss strategies because today, well, a bit all over the place aren't I there with that camera. So obviously the camera, all the speed bumps, but weight loss strategies and um, coming into a weight cut for the fight. Fighters, what fighters do, they leave, they leave whatever they want to leave due to their own hydration levels. If a fighter can hold on to a lot of water, he can retain a lot of water coming into the fight he can subsidize that water for muscle so he can keep his muscle on him and lose the weight in water rather than losing the weight in muscle or fat and then after the weight he can go back up and, he can, and then he's got a he's got a, maybe a four pounds six pounds from fighters even go bigger fellas they can go eight pounds ten pounds muscle advantage and that's the whole reason why people do a weight look weight loss a weight, a weight cut at the end of a fight but going into the end of a fight during a weight cut it's important that you stay hydrated in the past i've made mistakes myself which i'll never make again but today why i'm going on about this is today i'm going into a weight cut session a weight loss session and um weight cut strategies is important because it's not only about the session just turning up on the day three days prior that's when the weight cut starts so you start with your gut manipulation you lose the flu you get um you stop eating foods that are high in water content i've seen fighters have to lose weight with a few days to go and someone says to them suggest right just get on the salad come get a big bowl of salad the wrong thing to do you need to have dense foods foods that are dense in calories so you're still getting your calories you're still getting your vitamins if possible and but also you're going to be um you're dropping that good content because you could say your you, you intestines could be 20 feet long and if they got a um, little bit of food in all the way it, it racks up it adds up so you could lose up to four pound there just in gut manipulation also your sodium levels due to your salt every um, every blood cell will carry salt inside it you don't want to lose too much salt but also with the salt with the sodium once you let go of that sodium you're not taking it in as much it doesn't bind to water so your body holds less water so with the good manipulation the sodium and water manipulation your body can lose a good bit of water providing that you're not doing it to the extent where you're harming yourself you say don't go beyond five percent of your body weight with it that for me right in a 60 kilogram that would be three kilogram wouldn't it so three kilogram weight cut for me that that would be the going rate um i have a little bit less than that but that, that would be where I'd be safe doing it. So yeah, gut manipulation, weight cut strategies. What are your weight cut strategies? Do you have a certain way you like to do it? I know some fighters like to do it. They call it active sweating, where that, that means they, they, get a, they get like a sweat suit on and they do the minimal amount of work, but they're doing it in exercise. Or you get people where they do passive, passive weight cut strategy, where they like to just sit in a sauna. You see that the, the, a lot of the MMA fighters do it. They go on a sauna, they come out of the sauna, they get the um, the, the towels on them, don't they? Um, and then they rest for a little bit and they go back in the sauna. I like I like a one hit, I like an active sweat, one hit, whatever it got to go. While I'm still sweating, then do the saunas and stuff like that and um, sweat the rest out without doing the, the, the effort. You know what I mean? I've done it in the past where I'm putting loads and loads of effort into doing this weight. Once you've got your sweat, to, sweat on, I think that's the time to, to get it done because once you get your once you lose your sweat on i've seen fighters doing that as well losing the sweat on and then they've got to start again and going through the old thing again preparing themselves mentally and all that just to stay in fight week so yes no parking in the car park here get back out jazz so that's what i'm about to do today i'll keep you updated i'll let you know how it goes what are your strategies have i got anything to learn here has anyone got any, anything to learn me here on these um, weight cut strategies and and one of the best ways to do it is the certain fighter is the certain nation that does it better because i know that people depending on their situation where they live and where they're from you see a lot of different fighters they have a, a different style of doing it so like you see in the wrestling world if you was a, um, a wrestler from fucking kazakhstan you probably have a different way of doing it to being a wrestler in america and even inside sports as well if you're a fighter a boxer and a mma fighter they do it differently as well you see 
is it Jiu Jitsu or Taekwondo? I think they have to make way too. They'll do it a little bit different too. And then the bodybuilders, they do it to a, a, a whole different level, don't they? Because they don't have to get in there and take punches to the head at the end of the day. Probably a bit like, I think the, the, the bodybuilders, they have a, a well stick to diet, but they don't take the, the, the punishment like a fighter. So, yeah, well, what a. Um, anything that you can recommend me to, to watch to learn from if there is let me know there in the comment section below well if i'm allowed that was my weight loss session done i've got one kilogram left which is just over two pounds 2.2 pounds um so that's me done there i've got 800 ml of electrolytes bcas and critical greens to turn them in there too from applied nutrition and that's my weight loss session done um 40 45 minutes just to sweat and lie down with the with the in the covers and uh, sweat the rest out so yeah that's it really put a little drink up see what i am tonight <laughs> you probably drop the rest overnight or what i'll, I'll play it by ear have a little drink maybe not maybe maybe you do probably will and that's it as you can see the difference in my face before to start if this video and at the end of this video you're um, you're losing about Know, five pounds or something like that you see the difference in somebody's eyes especially but yeah um, that's probably the toughest part of it for boxers a lot of fighters don't like the, the fight week you can you can get a little bit ptsd-ish you know coming into the fight week you don't want to look forward to you build it up in your head massively because of last time and stuff like that but yeah that's making the weight as a professional fighter i know a lot of people have a lot of questions like is this healthy like surely this can't be healthy is this what goes on this is what goes on this happens as like this is minor you know what i mean this is very minor to see what goes on but i'm only fighting six rounds on saturday night so whew, feels good when you're sweating after your weight loss any fighter will know any fighter will tell you if you're still sweating after your weight loss you've probably done the weight well so yeah i don't look too well at the way in me i won't be to put this video out until after the fight anyway so it don't really matter how bad i look before it but we all look like bad but when i make the weight fuck me i look bad 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 i look like i look bad on off the weight so never mind when i'm on the weight and that's just the way it is for me some fighters look great it's normally the mixed race fighters they don't look that bad they've got a tan normally quite handsome aren't they so yeah when you get someone like me just pale pale white see-through you look sick and you've got a black eye bloody hell you should have seen me before he had me nashes done as well i look like a skeleton dog's dinner ice ice great when you're making a weight eyes and chewing gum it's just fantastic what i do normally if i'm gonna have fluids i make i prolong them i'll freeze foods as well so it lasts a bit longer when i eat it i'm sweating my head off here that's always a good sign but yeah, that's it really, weighing tomorrow and, and that's that really. Today is the day for the weighing, so I woke up, bang on the weight, well, it's 0.2 over, so it should be all right, but the weight cut was pretty much easy. Although it looked like Skeletor, the weight, the weight cut was pretty pretty much easy actually, but um, yeah, I was thinking about trying a few new, a few ways to do it, yeah, somewhere along the line. You can carb up before the weighing, so once you do weigh in, You've always got the glycogen storage waiting for the water to go into the muscle rather than waiting. But then again, something could go wrong where you could end up um, weighing in and get told, oh no, you've got to weigh in tomorrow and now you can't. You, now you're stuck with loads of carbs in your system and you feel dead dry. And then seen another one where apparently caffeine, caffeine um, absorbs four times as fast. Water ab absorbs four times as fast when you've got caffeine in your system. In, in the fluid so for caffeine and one i always use is creatine creatine i know creatine holds on to water and i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing but i always try it but i always do it every way and so yeah it looks like it's going to be creatine and caffeine which help absorb the water pretty much fast now i'm going to have positive results either way because i know i've now i've um, made the weight well so i'm not going to be too much focused on did it work or did it not but and um, it's good, it's interesting, you've got to try new things all the time, I mean, otherwise you'd never learn. And you've got to try it when it matters, really. So it's a good thing that I'm having this warm fight now, so I can, um, I can try a few new things. I've tried a few new things, like uh, the, the weight cut, I tried a little, a little bit different, a few adjustments in the weight cut and what I normally do. And it took a lot of stress off my mind. Maybe it was because I knew I was going to make the weight. I don't know, I don't actually quite know, but yeah, the weight cut went, went pretty much, probably the easiest time I've made the weight, actually. 
yeah, I'm, I'm actually happy. I haven't made the weight, and I'm happy with um, how the weight cut, the weight cut went. But obviously, it's how you make the weight, isn't it? The weight cut's just the ends of, of like, for me, it's been a few months process really because I haven't had time to um, switch off in case fight, in case fight came along. So, yeah, the weight cut really just depends on how well you make the weight, and I made the weight really well. But the weight cut, yeah, it went very, very good. So, yeah, I'm happy with that family ammo going away and now. Show you the weighing results. I'm in good shape, feeling good. And uh, then I'll be hydrated and I'll sort, of, I'll sort of show you the rehydration phase and how you blow up. It's crazy how fast you blow up. It's mad. Every time you walk past the mirror, you look like a different person. Like, my eyes are sunken in now. And that's just due to dehydration. And it's not even severe hydration, to be honest. It could be no more than four or five pounds, but this is how I look when I dehydrate. But you'll see when I um, put the weight back on later, I'll take a few pictures throughout the uh, the process. It's crazy, it's mad. It's good, good little information to be watching social media and stuff like that. And, and it does show that if you make the weight well, you box well. So I'm expecting a good performance as well because uh, I've made the weight well. So yeah. <laughs> First drink I had this time, I had an idea. I've seen, I've seen a thing about caffeine. Caffeine, when you're going to rehydrate, you have caffeine, and then caffeine can make you absorb the fluid four times as fast. So, what I've done is I've flattened the Pepsi because I love Pepsi and I know it's got caffeine in it. Flattened it, it took me hours. To, I took each bubble out individually, it took me hours, and then put me electrolytes on me. Minerals in the in that, and they also put creatine in there too because of muscle goes in the muscle and um, holds on to more water. So I I've been doing creatine for a good while, but that was my plan. Will <laughs> Will Pepsi Max work? I don't know, but I like it anyway. So yeah, I'm gonna chill out on the food. I'm not gonna eat food for like three hours, four hours, maybe. Maybe when I just start sweating and I'm and go to toilet for the first time, and then, and then I'll start introducing soft foods like vegetables maybe watermelon or some um, simple sugars that's how I normally make the weight and then I'll just introduce carbohydrates slowly go to the sort of heavier heavier maybe later on I'll have some like high carbs you know like breads or chicken you don't have fiber or fat right now because it's so the digestion get you simple carbs high GI carbs into you and uh, do it that way other than that the, the car don't prioritize I'm not saying don't take fats on board don't take fat I bet what I'm saying is um, get your carbohydrates back into your face that's the uh, the priority yeah as soon as you weighed in so yeah I'm, when as soon as I weighed in I had this the same stuff here a litre and a half and then about another litre now already so two and a half litres heavier within half an hour so I probably will put a good bit of weight on but um I didn't kill myself to make the weight so it won't be that heavy, I won't put that much on. The more you the more you lose, the more you sort of rebound. I can go to the same weight now that I used to go to when I was fighting at 55 kilogram. Now today I'm fighting at 60 kilo and I'll only put on five kilo where in the past I could put on 10 kilogram because I was killing myself so much to make the weight. And that's just the way it is. So yeah, interesting little insight and I'll take a few pictures throughout the day. And you can see visibly your face just fills out and fills out and your body fills out and uh, the glycogen, the sugar goes back into your muscles and uh, the, your body holds on to the water, the water and the um, the carbohydrates and you just you just blow back off. But yeah, I'm looking forward to fighting tomorrow. It's been ten months and I'm, I'm absolutely buzzing, made up to fight again. It's nice to be back around the um, the scene, the boxing scene, and that's so, all. I know it's a little bit mad, isn't it? But you think, bloody hell, that would have perfected my boxing needs, but then you have to flip the diet on its head and get the salt and the sodium and the carbohydrates. I'm trying to introduce a little bit of meat now, but um, yeah, I know it seems a little bit mad to Todd, but it's the best way to get the hydration back in, yeah, through the salt and the um, carbohydrates. I've had, had a good bit of carbs before, so. Um, and it's usually a little bit of fat now as well. Favourite place to do it. Kids want to come here, so it's free to be down to the ground, really. Oh, 
a little bit more weight on my face now. You can see that the, uh, the dehydrated look is going a little bit more. Shall I work it off, Kim? I'm going to work it all off now. Do you have to go back out and run tonight? Or can we just have one night's rest? One night's rest? Oh, Actually, no, 29 nights of it. Probably went over a little bit there, but I um I think I've I think I've overdone it, but I don't I haven't done too much because I've done a lot more, but I started to feel sick so I thought just um stop myself now, but I can see myself filling out now and um I'll probably just cut it there now. Maybe I might have something a bit later if I'm still awake, but I didn't sleep that well last night with making the weight and stuff like that, so I'll just um Probably get a good night's keep and let me belly settle and then tomorrow maybe try and get in maybe three four thousand calories stop eating around four or five hours before the fight and then um go in there big and strong but yeah that's how you make the weight as a professional fighter and it's, it's a little bit odd isn't it some people think that the last week you're gonna be um you're still dieting but you're not dieting anymore it's not about calorie deficits anymore it's more about the gut manipulation and the hydration levels when it comes to the last few days so your food your taste and food can go up a little bit but um not for the first eight weeks but how you ever make the weight is going to be depends on how well you've dieted all the way up until the last week last even the last three days so yeah, that's a little insight to how you make weight. And then now before bed, I will have two of those and um, that'll take my calories to something like 3,000 or something like that. It's not many, but I think a lot of salt in there and I've got a lot of fluid, so that's the main thing. Tomorrow, I'll see how I feel in the morning and um, have a few light meals before before the fight and um, yeah, be ready to go. But that's how you refuel, yeah. Punches on the back of the head, no golpers on the part here, trust the like a better, okay? Touch gloves, talking about this. I remember sparring with Jazza a good few years ago. Uh, very oh, elusive. Big right oh. hand and a couple of hooks to the head, and this time Duran goes Three. down, and that is legitimate. Four. He yeah, gets the count from Steve Gray. Great start from Jazza Dickens. Duran's been caught in the headlights a little bit here. I don't really expected such a fast start from Jazza, uh, but no. Very impressive the way he's going back. Right up to the body. It's a great shot there. Grand as well to take that. No. The new the new look, Jazza Dickens, you could say, is is starting with plenty of spike tonight. Already putting Duran yes. down. And again, he's, he's, he's not wasting a minute, is he? No, not at all. Come out very aggressive. Um, punches in bunches. He's, um, no, he looked very good. That opening round. Round two. So work, yeah, now oh, oh, there it again, is again. a good body shot and well a bit of a tumble Three. forward yeah. from Duran, Steve Gray. Duran's balance Four. is just a little bit Five. all over and Six. he's very tough and he doesn't Seven. look too bad good but Eight. balance just seems a little bit all over doesn't it? Yeah I think that's more credit to the work of Jazza Dickens. Yeah, yeah. He's just been all over him again he's just been winging those shots There's in. There's the body shot again. It's going to be a Oh, do well to get through this, Duran, here. How tough Fernando Duran. I know I keep saying it. He said he might not be having the most success. Oh, good shot by Jazza. Well, that seems to rack Duran to his boots. A man from Honduras now based in Spain. Again. Dickens just peppering. He's taken every shot from Dickens and some plenty of heavy artillery as well and taking them very, very well. He deserves Sticks great credit. In there, Duran. It's got to be the soul or something. But when the jazz is like, maybe it is a little bit stuck in there. Oh, and he oh. takes. Well, gets to the cameras again. That's got to be a, a proper knockdown, though. Four, the hooks are flying in from five, Dickens, so it wasn't the slip. Seven. It's not helped the fact that he can't no, seem to get his balance no, right. No, he definitely felt that. Like, first two, don't get wrong, some body shots went in. Oh, good shots. He's feeling this here, and it would be cruel 
Can well, we get stopped this final round? Dickens is going for it. Trouble, but look, he battles back. Look, he, he can't. But he, he takes uh, the knee again. Again, he's just yeah. He there is did, a problem with his boots. That's thing. He's got to be careful. He's just going down a little bit too much. But I think it's more to try and get out of the way. The punches that Jazz are ripping in the shots. Well, Dickens is still trying to get him out of here in the sixth and final round, and still oh, quickening right those hooks in Duran. Well, his face is reddened. His balance is all over the place, and still he's whipping in those hooks, Jazz and Dickens, and really it's spiteful work. He's on the ropes, there's nothing really coming back. He now tries, oh, Steve Gray's seen enough. Uh, it there's was, still 90 seconds to go, but he wants to see no more about the referee. And uh, do you know what? You could see that. You wanted to urge uh, Durant to get to end, urge it, but I thought it was a good call from Steve Gray there. It was just, it just become too much for him. Oh, the winner by TKO, Jen.